G'day legends, welcome back to another episode. So if you haven't picked it yet guys, it is a uh, little rig rundown um, about the uh, red boat. So we call it the red raft. So um, I get so many questions guys on socials about it, um, especially when we do drop some episodes in it. So I thought no better time. Um, me and my young fella are actually prepping it now for a trip, up and coming trip in a couple of weeks. So it's in the middle of the driveway. So I thought no better time to uh, bust out a little rig rundown so crack a coldy stay tuned guys we're going to head to the front we'll go front to back and yeah let's get it done right all right guys so before we rip in i thought i'd explain um what the boat is and um where i got it from how much all that sort of stuff so she is a uh, 4.1 meter savage so it's about a 1990 so it's a fairly old boat it's probably uh, as old as me if not older um i did not buy it like this um i bought it pretty much as a full resto so as this rig rundown goes um plays through you'll see some photos of how it first started i'll put a few in now um so yeah it didn't start off life like this it's probably about a six month build uh bought it without a motor as well so i did originally have a 15 on it but then we'll, as we move to the back you'll see that there's a 32 stroke yamaha on it which is a bloody ball terror so yeah, I bought it for 500 bucks, guys. So I did buy it at the start of winter. So if you go back and look at the uh, boat motor episode, that's uh, our previous episode, it's probably the best time to buy it. A lot of people get rid of it and want to move boats on and want to clear out their garage, etc., etc. So that's when I pounced when I bought this. So 500 bucks is a bloody steal. So yeah, we'll move on, guys. We'll move to the front and uh, we'll keep going. All right, guys, so out the front of the boat, um, I've just got a standard um, 50 mil ball hitch on at the moment. But um, this week, guys, a part of our, um, me and the young fellas' bloody um, duties is to change this to a treg hitch, so a poly block hitch. Same one as uh, what I run on the camp trailer. Um, towards the end of the year, we've got a couple of big trips coming, um, coming up, which we're going up north and on some pretty sketchy roads, so... Yeah, I thought we'll put a uh, tree hitch on, also to match the camp trailer. I'm not swapping tongues out and going through all that. So I will move around to this side, guys, and you'll see I run a spare tyre on the trailer. So I've just knocked that up from an old axle, which I got from one of our one of my mates, Wes Connolly. So thanks, brother. And um, I run a full hub with a bearing buddy. New bearings are in there and a half-decent tyre on. So if you ever do a bearing which I've seen so many bloody horror stories on the freeway of people um, shitting bearings. Um, yeah, we just throw a whole brand new hub, oh, second hand hub on and uh, we're gonna get out of trouble. So for the trips that we got coming up, um, it's definitely a necessity. I will run actually two spare tires. So there'll be another one on the other side. But as I uh, go, when I do maintenance around it, I just pump some grease into the bearing buddy and yeah, just keep that all nice. So nice little insurance policy. We'll come around here guys, as you see it's got a um, electric motor on it. Now I did some fishing with um, Chris from Force Lures and um, he rolls a electric motor, um, game changer, absolute game changer, especially because she's such a light boat. Um, you can get into spots, you can you can hold spots etc etc. So I got this water snake combat for 150 bucks off um, Facebook, I don't think the guy really knew what he had. Um, I would recommend spending a couple of extra dollars and trying to get one with GPS lock. Um, that's what Chris uses. And um, that is a definite game changer. Um, I've been out on a couple of boats now that have GPS lock. And when you find the fish or you find a lump, just press a button and um, hold you there. Mine, I've got to muck around. So I do have a remote, but um, I've got to muck around and I'm always sort of playing with it, which can get frustrating, but I mean, it does the job. It was the right price, so yeah. Also, never had a windscreen on it when I bought it, so that was another Facebook pickup for 50 bucks. Guy was getting rid of it, a little mucking around, but it's on there. A few legends there, and yeah. So moving around, the trailer's in pretty good um, condition. I run bearing buddies on um, all the wheels. Um, I mean, some people reckon they don't do much. Um, some people swear by them. I sort of think, why not? For the money, I think the 30 bucks or something. So, allows you to pump some grease in it. So yeah, we'll hop in the boat now, guys, and I'll show you, um, we'll keep going front to back. And... So I'm in the captain's seat, guys, which is not mine. It's usually my son's. He bloody loves driving this boat. So 
with upgrading our boat so we started off in a 3.7 meter tinny uh tiller steer um the requirement was from my son that it had a steering wheel so that's what we've made happen so a bit of a nightmare but we've installed a um steering wheel it's just a cable drive one it's not hydraulic um so just makes it easier to drive and bloody more enjoyable you're up the front so your weight dispersion is a little bit better um, originally I'll show you a photo now as I'm talking um, I did tiller steer this um, with the 15 horsepower off that old 3.7 but um, it just didn't get up and boogie like the 30 so ended up getting the 30 yummy but I'll talk about that when we move um, move to the back so it is forward controls so forward controls electric start so electric start is a bloody dream um, yeah sort of getting over pulling that uh pulling those uh two-stroke engines and yeah we'll move on um i'll show you my safety gear guys i'm sort of big on it because a lot can go wrong out in the water and it's not like you can bloody run away um so yeah i do run a fire extinguisher so if you've ever seen a fire on uh, a boat it's a shit yourself moment that i don't ever want to go through um flare kit Half decent life jacket because you're bloody wearing it all the time. It's got a heap of storage, so kids life jackets are right up there. Toolbox, anchor, I do carry some oars because um, you bloody never know. I don't want to row, row, row your boat, but if it has to happen, it has to happen. So I try to take things that, yeah, we need in the case of emergency. Um, it's just got a old CB Oricon one um, out of one of my old Forbies. So just so we can talk boat to boat. Lawrence um, 5TI sounder, that's the next thing to get upgraded in this tinny. Um, it does have down and side scan, but it's real old technology. Um, I want something with a bigger screen, so if there's any gurus out there, leave a comment below. Um, I'm thinking about going a hummingbird one, but changed my mind. Garmin, Lawrence, all the brands, I'm not, uh, not that much of a guru on it. So, a couple of isolators here, guys, it runs full 12 volt setup. Um, with the battery in the back. So bilge pump, which I highly recommend, nav lights, spot lights, um, spare and cab lights. Um, so I run strip lighting all the way through the boat. So you can probably see all the way through there, just LED blue strip lighting. Um, volt gauge, so we can see what's going in. It does run solar. Um, there's an Anderson plug at the back. Um, USB to charge the camera gear, GoPros, drones, stuff like that. Um, 12 volt plug there also charge the phones and whatnot so yeah we'll start moving to the towards the back and uh i'll show you uh what else is in this boat right oh guys so to be comfy guys i've put some half decent seats in it i have removed the backs of the seats because it's just a bloody nightmare trying to get out i'll show you them um they are swivel seats nicely high padded ones um on swivels but yeah remove the backs when you've got two fat boys sitting here it was sort of hard to get out of it. Um, fully carpeted all the boats, so it's got this seat system um, all the way around the boat. So I fully carpeted that, just bunning sort of stuff. Um, I was originally gonna remove these, but was scared too because of the flotation, so they're full of foam. But um, also now being in the boat, you can stand up on them and you can walk all the way around the boat. So it makes fishing a breeze. Um, so there's that deck room there. Eventually that will be a false floor, so it's easier to walk on. A um, couple of things, rod holders here. Another little light for at night. Um, the latest addition is this uh, rear sort of deck area. So I've just knocked it up out of some spare aluminium stuff. Um, fuel tanks under this side. We've got a marine battery here. So that runs the uh, 12 volt stuff. I'll lift this up. So some storage under there. Um, nice big marine battery that runs the electric motor as well as uh, starts the engine. It's more than enough. Um, that just velcros back down. Um, it's good to have that cast deck, so um, it's good to be able to stand up and uh, fish off the back. But yeah, it's got quite a bit of room um, in the old gal. So yeah, plug solar in, guys, because um, coming up on the big mish, I will be running a fridge in this. So I've got a 40 litre angle that's going to sit in this back corner and um just plug in so yeah when we catch a fish cryo back on the boat straight in the angle bloody dream so bait board at the back so that comes off during transport but that's how it sits when it's running a couple of rod holders at the back got these rod holders which are my trolling rod holders bcf jobbies so one either side so the rod sits 
quite low in it and um, gets a nice trolling angle. So yeah, we'll jump out now, guys. I'll show you the uh, the motor. That was another bloody um, bargain. And yeah, we'll keep going. Right, oh guys. So I've just hopped out. So I thought I'd uh, I'd show you this, guys. I run bearing buddies. Um, some people hate them. Some people love them. I think they are beneficial. So each trip I pump a couple of pumps of grease into it and it sort of pushes some of that water out. So for the price of them, I think they're good. So if you haven't seen them, guys, that's them there. They've got a dust cap on them. So I pump grease into those. Um, I run a C type tyre, so it's a uh, heavier grade tyre, so it can handle a bit more load and yeah, they're probably a couple of years old and they're still looking brand new. Um, when I bought it, the trailer was all junk, so <laughs> I've had I fixed her up, it's got all new rollers, all new um, skid plates, so it comes off pretty easy. Um, nice new LED lights, so they're submergible ones, even though they're up higher than probably normally where your boat lights would be. I've still got submergible ones. Um, as I probably said, I built this in memory of my old man, so he had a boat very similar to this, so it's the same color, same name, so I get a lot of questions why it's called the Raft 2.0. Did you sink the Raft 1.0? No, so my old man um, got sick, and um, we ended up selling that boat. Bit of regret, I probably should have bought that, so I thought I'll buy a Savage, so his boat was a Savage, so I thought I'd buy a Savage, paint it the same colour, and make it the Raft 2.0, so it's been a great little project for me and my son. Um, I'll show some more photos of it, so it didn't start out this colour, so this is called Cherry Red, um, didn't start out this colour, me and my son painted it. It is a rattle can paint job, but it's come out pretty good, so, which is what you want. Big transducer for that side and down scan, but obviously that will be going soon. So yeah, just a rattle can job guys, nothing serious. It'd probably cost 50, 60 bucks to paint, but it looks the part. So we're at the back now guys. So the Yami, the 30 Yami, the mighty 30 Yami. So I'll tell you the quick story behind that guys. So um, my mate Wes, at, who I work with, um, his brother had this laying around. It's probably sat on its side for about five years, so I went and checked it out, and um, the, if you jump back to our uh, latest episode about the um, boat motor, did it, do a compression test, guys, and, and I did one, and um, there was about 7 PSI in the bottom cylinder. It was meant to be 125, is the factory spec, and that's what the top cylinder was, so I still bought it knowing that. Did a few tricks and tips um, that I've learned along the way being a mechanic, and sort of um, unstuck those rings and uh, got this motor back up to within 10% of the top cylinder. So you will see those tricks and tips because we're going to be doing it to the um, giveaway boat Jono. So um, they're quite handy, but it's a 2007 two-stroke Yami forward control. I paid 700 bucks for it, guys. I spent probably another probably another 250 bucks getting going. So call it a thousand bucks. So it was 1500 bucks pretty much for this boat. Um, probably another 500 bucks in incidentals. Um, so yeah, I'm probably at two grand for this boat, um, which I'm bloody happy with. I think two grand for a boat of this caliper is um, bloody unreal. So yeah, we'll keep going. Right, guys, before I wrap it up, I thought I'd show you this, guys, because um, it does discourage people from buying a slightly cheaper boat. So this was unlicensed, guys, without a HIN number. So this little plate above my head is a HIN plate. Now, you need it to, um, you need HIN numbers um, to register a boat in um, WA. So it's an easy process, guys. There is mobile people doing it now. So they come out, they, they put on the two HIN plates. They give you all the paperwork you need for the licensing center. Costs about 300 bucks. Um, I know a lot of boat shops are doing it, so don't dis get discouraged by buying that bargain um, because, yeah, simple as process. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, that is the rig rundown on the little red boat. There will be more mods coming, like the sounder and stuff like that, which I will take you guys along with. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all the support. Our uh, website has just dropped, so dadsandlads.bigcartel.com. So go check it out. I'll leave the uh, link in the description. I'll probably flash it across the screen. Um, we do have a new shirt that's going to drop in about two weeks, guys. So keep your finger on the pulse for that. Limited numbers, guys. So new design, new t-shirt design. And yeah, should be a good one. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one where the boat is actually in the water. Let's go.